Before we start off the video guys, I just want to say a big big thank you to Dan. His YouTube link will be in the description below, so please go give him a sub. Hello guys, welcome to episode 3 of Request a Hybrid. Now as you see up there, the three players I'm going to use are Neymar, Falcao and Wynn. Neymar stand out stats, 91 pace, 91 dribbling, 79 shooting. Falcao, 80 dribbling, 85 shooting and 91 heading. And then last player, Marvel Wynn, 93 pace, 64 defending and 73 heading. Now as the team pops up guys, I just want to say a big thank you for 300 subs. I was mainly down to unique riggers and random FIFA videos for letting me upload on random FIFA videos. That's a, like a nice gesture I think from uh, unique riggers. Also I would do videos more daily but my internet speed is no good and my computer is kind of has its good days, has its bad days. But uh, yeah, on to the team guys, we have Neymar out left mid of course, Falco. I was going to buy the normal version and I was... Like that's when the team got suggested when his normal version was out the 88, but it did actually decide to buy the 89 Falco, and uh, Luke, who is with me right now, hello guys, uh, he's gonna go into depth about him a little bit later on and what he thinks of him. But uh, yeah, they're the three players there now. If you don't know the rules of this series, guys, just as the team pops up. Uh, you've got to suggest one player worth between 50k and 125k. The second player has to be worth between 25 and 50k, and then the third player between 10 and uh, no, say 10 and 25k. 10 yeah, that's 25. right. Sorry. Uh, so the player in this case worth between 50 and 125k would be Neymar, and the person between 25k and 50k, when this team was recommended to me, would have been Falco. I just happen to have some spare coins left over and decided to buy the 89 version. And then between 10 and 25k it was Marvel win. So to fill in the spaces in between the players, guys, we've got Diego Alves in goals, Felipe Santana centre-back, left centre-back is Dede, and then the two centre-backs, I think it's Camargo and Ramirez, and then right mid, Landon Donovan, left mid, of course, Neymar, and then centre attacker mid, Kaka, and to join Falco, up strike is Karim Benzema. Now Luke is going to go into some depth about the team. Right, guys, the first person I'm going to know is Neymar, and he's playing at the left mid, and the left mid is alright, but he's a bit too defensive and he's out of the game too much. In my opinion, I would play him left wing. The second player I'm going to go on to now is the bronze Brazilian. And he weren't as bad as I thought. He mixed in the team quite well. The third player I'm going to go on to now is Falco. He's not worth more 70k more than his 88 version. His 88 version ain't as good. You know, I don't really like him. So his 89 weren't that good either. The fourth player I'm going to go on to is Donovan. He had very good crossing, putting Falco balls on all time. And the last thing I'm going to go on to now is win. And I thought he was just going to be about pace, but he was actually a really good defender and good ahead. And I'm going to pass you on to Elliot now for the goals. Right, thanks to Luke for that, guys. Now, Luke is actually going to talk a little bit later on in the episode about uh, whether he's going to start off YouTube or not. But, yeah, this uh, gameplay is a mixture of goals, mixture of some tackles, and mixture of some saves. I decided to put the saves in them because Diego Alves actually played really, really well for me. And, you know, I just thought I decided to put uh, some saves in there, which, you know, in my opinion, a lot, a lot of other keepers would have saved. Again, you know, there is some footage of... Uh, Neymar getting some goals and stuff but he wasn't really involved into the game like Luke said because you know in the left mid position he's kind of isolated out there and he's not really doing much he did seem to do a lot of defending work rather than the attacking which you know is not really like because he has got such a good shot and such good dribbling and I just didn't feel like he contributed to the game much now onto the defence of the team guys, a very pacey defence as you would have seen. Marvel win with 93 pace, Felipe Santana with 81 and uh, Dede as well, 80 pace. Yeah. And uh, I th you know, I think Dede and Felipe Santana, they probably are the most two most overpowered players on the game next to David Ruiz as centre back anyway. And when, you know, I played with him on FIFA 12, I was kind of expecting the worst on FIFA 13, but you know, he did alright. I mean, he did what I expected him to do. I'm glad, like, I didn't play him as a centre centre back. At right centre back, you know, he had the pace to uh, to match him with some players. I think that's the first time Luke saw that goal there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Landon Donovan really impressed me as well, guys. He was mainly there for chemistry purposes, same as Camargo, the bronze Brazilian centre midfield. Uh, and as like as Luke said, you know, he really came into the team and did better than what I thought. But there's a great goal from Landon Donovan there. 
And there, the strike force, I was really disappointed with uh, Falco. I thought his 89 was going to be much better than his 88. I did really enjoy his 88 at times, but then at other times I really disliked him. And, you know, this 89 Falco, he didn't do a lot for me. His heading, even though it was his best attribute, he didn't seem to win headers. When he did win headers, you know, they did seem to go in. But his shot was definitely improved from his 88, I felt. You know, he finished a lot of things, which I was kind of impressed with. And, uh... Just, you know, before this video ends, guys, I'm just going to pass you on to Luke because he's actually interested in joining the YouTube community. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass you on to him now. All right, guys, again, I just wanted to say um, I wanted to start getting into YouTube and I've been thinking about it for a long time now. And I'm just wondering, would you watch my videos and maybe subscribe me? I've got a lot of coins, 1.2 million, and I would do some expensive squad builders and what you'd want me to do. Now I'm going to pass you over to Elia to round off the episode. Right, yeah, so that is Luke, guys. You know, um, he's actually wanted to do YouTube for a long, long time. And uh, we, he did actually help me start off YouTube. He did a lot of the work uh, at the start of YouTube. And uh, it was kind of a fail, though, because we started recording off our mobile and stuff. <laughs> but uh, then, uh, you know, we uh, actually invested in some recording software, like uh, I've got the HDPVR. Now, um, I will be doing a setup video soon, guys. Because uh, I've just hit 300 subscribers, I just need to tidy up my bedroom a little bit because it is getting quite messy. But uh, yeah, guys, um, I want to know what other possible series you like uh, would or would like to see. Because I was thinking of doing a career mode, but uh, now I'm not so I'm not so um, sure whether I want to do that or not. Because I've looked on other channels and career mode doesn't seem to do as well as Ultimate Team. And uh, I'm also going to try and start doing a head-to-head. -head, uh, dual commentary with the Westy HD. Now if you haven't subscribed to him already, he is actually in the link in the, uh, as a link in the description below because I'm going to consider doing uh, dual commentaries with him every Wednesday or Thursday night. Uh, probably get the gameplay on Wednesday, get the commentary on Wednesday and then upload it on a Thursday night maybe. And uh, also hopefully the series will get uh, uh, as a permanent series on random FIFA videos because I haven't actually uh, got back to me on that and uh, it did pretty well on random FIFA videos you know I gained a lot of subscribers last night I think I gained around 50 was it yeah. around 50 subscribers uh, just in one night and uh, yeah guys uh, if you haven't followed me on Twitter already that's a good thing to do I, I usually well I always do respond to everybody who actually, uh, <laughs> Luke just wants to get Twitter followers as well, but uh, I, I do respond to everybody that wants to uh, that wants to question me on things, because, uh, you know, I haven't really got much followers. Another thing as well, guys, I'm going to try and set targets now for likes, so hopefully, guys, on this episode, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, I'm hoping to get 10 likes on this for me a lot. And, uh, yeah, guys, the, the more and more subs I get, the more and more editing I'm going to start doing on videos. I'm going to put, like, loads more effort into it. Because uh, I'm starting to do uh, alright now. There's a nice goal from Benzema. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be bringing out some player reviews soon. And thanks uh, for watching, guys. Luke just wants to say thank you as well. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's not much else in this episode apart from uh, just one last goal, I think this is, from Kaka. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Please follow me on Twitter. And I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. And yeah, apart from that, I shall see you guys next time. And peace out. One last thing, guys. Would you like to see more dual comedies with me and Zelda? And I apologise if I sound bad, because it is my first time. Because it is my first time doing dual comedies. So yeah, thanks, guys.